Brian North. I'm Quentin. And I'm Elijah. And this is North News. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Now that basketball is over, what sports are going on? Let's find out. Here's Max with the sports update. Now that the basketball season is over, we'll find out what's coming up and what's starting. 7th grade girls volleyball has now started and they'll be wanting to start the season off strong with a win for their first game. So on Thursday the 22nd, the two varsity teams will travel to Fairmont to take on the Falcons, while the JV will have a home game when Fairmont comes here to North. Good luck Vikings. Alright, coming up in a few weeks is... Hey, Quentin, you're here. You got anything to say to the people of North on upcoming sports? Yep, on North Track. North Track will officially start Monday, April 9th at 2.50. All track practices will start at 2.50 and will end at 4.15 at most. Also, the track season will end Wednesday, May 25th at East. Remember, we will keep you updated on North Track and North. Remember to start putting those miles on and have a great day. And Max, you don't run like that. You run like this. <laughs> That's it for today's sports. Now back to you and Elijah. Have a great day. Thanks, Max. Guess what, Quentin? What? It's time for the Viking Car, car Drives! Good morning, Vikings. We are here with your Viking Values winners for the week. These are our students who display our Viking Values of responsibility, dignity, teamwork, respect, and honesty. Our students this week are... Emma Thompson, William Orr, Owen LaMontagne, Gage Scheinman, Tyler Weiss, Ella Pierron, Evie Brutz, and the last one is Yadalise Gonzalez. And our two teachers this week are Mr. Price and Mr. Hunt. Congratulations, Vikings. Hey. Awesome job, Vikings. Hey, Meet Across America was a while ago. How did it go? I thought it was pretty good. Let's ask Mr. O'Dea. How do you think Read Across America Day went at North? Uh, I think it went really well. We had all of our eight guests, um, presenters, showed up, which is always good. All of our classes that were signed up for, the, for to be in the audience showed up, and that was good. Um, our students, uh, our opening acts all did a phenomenal job. Uh, I think it went really well. It went, it went more smoothly than last year, although last year's was pretty good too. Um, yeah, I think it went well. Can you tell us more about the Battle of the Books tournament? Um, so the tournament with the other schools that are coming? Yeah. yeah, so that tournament takes place on the 17th, which is St. Patrick's Day. Um, it's going to be the first one we've ever done with other schools involved, hopefully not the last one. Um, it will be here at North. It will involve teams from North, um, from River Glen, and from East Junior High. Um, there should be 20 teams total, and it will be a, probably a half-day tournament. We'll also have author Jennifer Nielsen will be here. So it should be cool. We haven't tried this before here at North. Um, it'll be our first. We're calling it the Idaho Battle of Books because we're trying to grow this program into a statewide program. And this is sort of our first move towards involving some other schools. In this in this process, so we're excited about it. It's a lot of work, but I think it'll be really cool. I hope and that's what we're looking for. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Where are you going, my baby, my own? Turn around and you're true. Turn around and there's strange things fun in the midnight sun, but men who boil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that will leave your blood grow cold. The Northern Lights have seen queer sights from the queerest they ever could see. Was an eye on the march of Lake LaVarge, I cremated Sam McGee. And all the birds look back down at him. And at the same time, they all chanted, Na, 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 na. 
Na, 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 na. Hello, students! My name is Bernie, and I'm so excited to be here. Ordinary. I'm not an ordinary 10-year-old kid. I mean, sure, I do ordinary things. I eat ice cream, I ride my bike, I play ball. I have an Xbox, stuff like that. That makes me ordinary, I guess. And I feel ordinary inside, but I know ordinary kids don't make other ordinary kids run away screaming in playgrounds. Did you know that that, that video was created by our very own North students? Make sure to check out our YouTube channel, North Vikings TV, for more interesting videos. Elijah, remember the Sources of Strength video from last week? Of course. How could I forget? Well, prepare yourself for part two. A trusted adult is someone like your parents, counselors, principal, older siblings, or anyone you can trust. It is important for any child or teen to have a trusted adult, so if anything in their life goes wrong, they have someone to turn to. That's what we are about. Living by I'm Maddie Bargus, and my trusted adult is my mom because I can tell her. I'm a source of strength ambassador. My name is Nick, and my trusted adult is my older sister, Maggie Bloom. She is always there for me, and whenever I need to go talk to her, I can. So, yeah. Hi, my name is Colin Dempsey, and my trusted adult is my parents because I can tell them anything. I'm Bella, and my trusted adult is my dad because I know he will love and support me no matter what. Austin and Ryland, the North Cheerleaders attended a cheer showcase on East, at East on Saturday. Even though we only had eight cheerleaders, sorry about my fingers, the other squads are twice that many, and we won the loudest vocal award. Let's give an applause to our cheerleaders. Hey, Quinn, did you know that today is the National Artichoke Card Day? Well, good thing I have a few facts up my sleeve. Did you know that an artichoke is technically a flower, but that, is not let, that has not yet bloomed? No way, I've been eating flowers my whole life. Oops. Anyways, sadly, this past Wednesday, one of our most brilliant people in the world, Mr. Stephen Hawking, passed away on March 14th in Oxford, Britain. His life had a huge impact on our education. His legacy will continue for generations. Hawking once said, remember to look about the stars, not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder what makes the universe exist. Be curious, however difficult life may seem, there's also there's always something you can succeed at. Let's all let him rest in peace. Not on a happier subject. Hey, I have a good joke. What does a painter do when he gets cold? I have no clue what. He puts on another coat! Uh, very... Ha 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 ha! Those were so funny! Well, that's it for today, North. Elijah, let's make like banana and peel out! Mom and Dad and Vicky always give it